What's up guys, Son of Beast here. We are back for another NBA 2K21 as the NBA playoffs continue. And guess who's back? They're from Utah and Golden State. We have Donovan Mitchell on the left. And who's back on the right? Clay Thompson! That's right. You know that Clay Thompson wasn't here that before uh, last season of the game. He was out already and, wasn't, and he wasn't able to feel like he was playing. He was not feeling well to play for the game. He doesn't want to take a rest for, for from the game that he wanted to play. But now he was saying that, Clay, why don't you come along and play play, uh, play with us, Stephen Curry just said. Well, it's been a long time since season one, two, and three for Clay Thompson to let him play back in for the game. It's very hard for him to uh, concentrate on what he was looking for, but this might be the only chance if he can get back into this game, if he wants to get in the game or out of the game. And, and uh, this will be the classic jersey that, that we will get to see what they can do. So let's find out what the city will look like. And this is the third jersey, what it looks like. Uh, classic of, I don't know about that one here, but let's go for a breach of statement right down in the lane if there's a chance for him to keep an eye on that point. Anyway, the Warriors have never got a chance to uh, make the win, so they got to get back into action just like OKC Funders did the last previous playoff edition here in 2K20. So dime time will be on June 2nd, so uh, if you can't make it, you will get there in chat. Rush 3x3 three three will be on Saturday, June 5th and 6th. So if you got a chance to get in there, then be ready. And a recap will be right down in the lane. So you better not uh, you better not miss this one. Let's go to Golden State. For the, for the NBA playoff of the game. We got a Bay Bridge out there. Of course, you're going to love that one, too. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining and thank us you for joining us that time. Back at the Chase Center here. Um, this is the last game for game number two. Of course, uh, this is no change here for the adoption as we're looking at it. Here's DA. Kevin, thank you very much. We know Rudy Gobert is ultra-competitive, but he knows it's not about winning his individual matchup. He said, it's a five-on-five -five game, a team concept. That's always been my mindset. Obviously, I take pride in being the best defensive player in this league, but I play to win. That's my focus. Kevin? Thanks, David. Thank you, David. And as Rudy Gobert has got it all down here again, and thanks to Clay Thompson for being back on the court since Stephen Curry's team won against the Orlando Magic in Season 5. He's back out again, and he likes to, and he's ready to take it from here. And he wants to know, how's KD doing? Well, he's playing all good, and this team just got two wins in a row. Looking for another chance if he can take another win at that point. Welcome back, number 11. We are bringing the strength and numbers in, and we are ready to go. So here we go. Let's get this game two started. Curry finds Wiseman. Wiseman, all right, right around Rudy Gobert. The layup for a drive for Wiseman's no good. Mitchell outside. And remember game one, he wasn't there before, but now he's back. And we got a shocking foul on Draymond Green. First foul, and the team foul will be on Golden State. Coach Quinn Snyder and Coach Steve Kerr. Mm. They're going to need to try to figure this one out. I know, the Warriors are having a hard time to, uh, to keep an eye on them for the win. The Utah Jazz are always the number one seed. Keep it strong. The first shot falls in. You know, Greg, you look at the numbers that Mitchell put up in that series. Simply amazing. I mean, he was putting up 40. 50, San Francisco, 40 I want you to make it louder. Uh, at times, the guy looked unguardable. 
truly one of the young stars to come out of the Takes the second free throw. And Mitchell drops them both. Mitchell has drafted point, both of them at that well point. Go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the Grant Barry, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Arlen are on the sideline. Wiggins. Wiggins outside. Back to Passes to Curry. Outside, they get a three. Murray's in for a three point range. Anytime he can get some separate. That'll be a first free bucket for Stephen Curry to pick it up. Here's Donovan Mitchell. Pass to McDonovich for three. Not in time. That would be Wiseman with the, with the first rebound. Wiggins for three. And he shoots in the other direction. And there's the two, two three pointers here. Uh, Stephen Curry and uh, Andrew Wiggins here. Clay Thompson wants to get this shot back. How well could he do? Well, you gotta find out. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Mitchell outside. Great deal on Clay Thompson. Mitchell tries again. He missed the two pull three pointer again. My apologies. Wiseman dishes to Thompson. Now Thompson goes back to Wiseman. Green will help him out. I mean Wiggins. Wiseman. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Wiseman. Off on the angle layout. Layout. And it won't be enough to go over in time. Conley for two. Conley shot. Conley shot's no good. Clay Thompson gets his first rebound. We're five under 530 left. Six to two is the lead. Giants Curry. Curry back to Thompson. Thompson. Could he take a two? No, he could not make it in time. Well, he, had, he tried it. Not making that inside. Mitchell. And we got a foul on Wiseman. His first personal. Wiseman has gotten uh, just a little too late here. Right around behind Donovan Mitchell. And better luck next time to give it another try. And that's what he did. Uh, assist by McDonough. Yep. That was too late already. Should never have like that before. From the free throw line. Fortunately, nice all around effort. It looks like the it looks like the, the game was still caught in a close run. Um, Celtics and the Nets. If you're watching this game, but uh, don't be freaked out of who won. So he makes the first makes the free throw. And Steve Kerr was like saying, "Man, don't give up. Just make it easier. Don't give, don't get the off, don't get the defensive players a hard time, or our offensive players a hard time." Now here's Green. Wiggins walks to Curry, drives, takes the two. That'll be another two pointer for Stephen Curry. Uncovered at the rim. He's uncovered at the moment right now here, and now here's uh, Conley, really covered by, by Curry, and exploiting whatever Here, Car that Conley, right now. rolling it around, now Green shoots over Curry, he gets the bucket. and he gets All the bucket that time. No now he goes down by one, Just Curry, pass to Clay Thompson, so Thompson rolling it in. Takes a two-pointer! He's got his first bucket of the night. Too much. Very calm, very cool. And without the double man defender right down here. Uh, Conley and uh, Rudy Gobert or McDonovich. Here's your first pointer with the look. Mitchell outside, covered by Thompson. Passes it to Gobert. Jazz is there looking for another chance to pick up the game. Whoa, Thompson. right around Thompson. Draymond Green with the rebound. A good D here for Clay Thompson. Wiseman, back pass to uh, Thompson. Takes the three! And now he joins in to give it a call to say, welcome back, Clay Thompson, for shooting the three-pointer with us for this game. But he's not ready to. Uh, he's not ready to be back in for regular season yet. But it looks like Rudy. I mean, Donovan Mitchell has got eight points. Or Rudy Gobert. Not sure which one it is better. Two foul on Rudy Gobert. His first. First team foul on the Jazz in Utah. Now we have a Stephen Curry going to the line to shoot two. And because I know that Stephen Curry was definitely getting there, I think he's doing really well. And he's coming back on the show. Uh, holy moly. Remember um, that he's, he's the uh, TV host. Now he's going to be doing it to take two free throws at the line. Rudy Gobert stands aside. 
I really don't like when he takes out his uh, take out his uh, retainers out here. I'm looking at the shot and he says, I got it all. Greg, we know the names of the I know his name was Curry definitely Stephen Curry, Curry along with his brother. He's doing really well. His brother is in the number one seat. New change here for the Jazz. As we have uh, Clarkson, Joel Ingles, and definitely um, definitely the, uh, the only player who I never got a chance with. Him. I think it was Niang or something. I don't know. So Curry has hit two free throws. They're they're up by fit five. Donovan Mitchell moving around again, finding another look. Finds Favors. And that was him. That was Favors already. That was my mistake. It's not me. Right off the bat. Curry looking it over again, trying to mess up on Donovan Mitchell. Finds Toscano. Toscano takes the reverse layup, takes the turnaround of the layup, and Curry will, will take another look on the assist. Mitchell against Basemore. Carson for three. Put it in there, and yes, he did. And he has both. Well, that's 2 30 to play here in the first quarter. A more energy on Curry looking at number one. Looney outside right now. He's back again. Uh, after the following by an injury report, not playing in regular season. Before he gets back in the game. Curry makes a tough shot in the round. He's got nine points. The rest of the team has got ten points. We're only down to two minutes, and favors with the dunks. So far, both teams scorching the net. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV games. So unfortunately, now we got Wilds with the tie, one one. Both of the teams feeling confident right now. And now somebody coming over to the screen will be Toscano. Looney will take the first shot of the game. Thanks with the screen on Toscano. Jazz trail by four. Jazz have trailed up by four. 90 seconds to go in the first period. And it's a loony block defender. Here comes with three on one. Baysmore misses the three. A little bit off the short range between between the, buff, between the uh, three point range in the corner and the defender. Ingles against Curry. Coming in the screen was on favors as Curry avoids it. Rebounded by Mitchell at three. And he uses another two three pointers again. And they are down by one. Sometimes the sometimes the Warriors get a win. Sometimes they don't make a win at all. Against the Utah Jazz. Looney kicks it to baseball. Pass to Looney, goes back over to Bazemore. Bazemore takes a shot, and it's good. One for two this game. One for two on the game. league long enough to know you can't go in there soft, so... Clarkson against Curry. Clarkson rolling it out around again. No good at that time. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. 20 seconds for a shot clock and game clock. 17 shot clock. 17 seconds on the shot clock, and now it's down to 10 on the shot clock. Oubre outside. Oubre outside. Love to see that one on the court. Oubre Jr. missing it out. Three seconds. Will they put it up? And it's good. That will be the end of the first half, first quarter. Great mechanics from Mitchell. Curry won't take the half court shot at that point. This is now. 23 to 22 in the game. So we end the first first quarter. Let's get to the second quarter and find out what happens then. Now let's talk about to uh, Clay Thompson what is valuable has done with this game. I realize how easy it is to get looks from him using his big body coming off screens. Him being able to stretch the floor, and knock down threes is such an underrated factor for us. And like I said, he's unselfish and he's a really good teammate as far as getting you involved. Greg, you think about the champions Greg, um, together. Greg Anthony, he's got a lot of confirmed about here with Kevin about the Draymond Green styles. Maybe he might be a little bit on the uh, topic of yet. Tough, competitive, and step. But we'll see what he can do if he can find out when he gets there. We got a dunk on Joel Joe Ingles, assist by uh, Rudy Gobert. 
What do you guys think? Now it's, uh, now here's another different oh, look here. Don't choose pre now here's Ogre Jr. Pass over to Toscano. Now he goes back to pool. Pool shots, good! A little off the angle out there, but he's going to his first bucket in the game. Let's get this game going. The first half. Favors and go back. Second quarter. Mitchell is on. Mitchell up. And it's Ingles. And it's, oh, we got a good push back here. Devin Favors is picking it up again. He's got six. That's six points here. Now they switching over and again. Favors is a huge mistake. Ubre Jr. Reach out of three, and that's good. A lot of three point landing out there. And guys, I think each team knows. A lot of, lot of fans going wild at the Chase Center. And now here's Donovan Mitchell missing the two. And so it's Ubre with it. Ubre with the ball. So the wing on the left. Wing on the left is uh, Looney. Looney finds Ubre Jr. Tries again. Looney misses three. Mitchell with the rebound now at that point. Seems like you just said, oh, it's off. That's okay. Whoa! Do you, did you see that one? Now it looks like, the, it looks like Donovan Mitchell is like slamming it over it again. Now it looks like the first timeout will be on the, with the same Warriors. They will pick up another uh, first timeout at that point. The spot's pretty low, low left. Most of the stars. I think where the stars, we're going to need to try to figure this or not. Is to pick another off the boards. Full to the eight. Sure. So many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these these guys have working in front of the camera. I think that just makes for uh, new change here experience. for the Warriors and the Jazz. Yeah, Beavers and Mitchell are checked out. You know who I said? Who was that? O'Neal and Conley are checked oh, in. You're just saying that because it's true. Now Warriors are also making the change here as well. Five players okay, come off the court, now and now Wiggins and Green oh, with, uh, for with Thompson back yeah, on the Mike court. Not kind of, not kind of tricky at that point, but it looks like. And the Jazz with possession. Looks like uh, number three, three, three was Lee, and, and we got another foul here. Draymond Green with the second personal foul. Royce O'Neal shooting two at the free throw line. His first trip to the line. This one's a very, very tough defense out there, but this isn't what we are looking for at that moment. That's good for all. That's kind of my mistake already. Making the second free throw and it's good. And here are the Warriors now. Lee back out and again. Pass to Green. Green. Lee to Green. Green to Lee. Pass Lee to Wiseman. right to Wiseman. Ten on the shot clock. Back to Lee. Lee outside. Takes the triple pointer. That will be his first three pointer of the game. Assist by Wiseman. Thompson finds, uh, I mean, Gobert. And we got a good play up here on the drive for uh, Rudy Gobert to give it all. Lee coming back around the other way. Bounce pass to Wiggins. Wiggins passes to Lee. The Golden State are moving around the ball quickly that they had. Finding Thompson. Six to shoot. Six to shoot. Rolling around. Oh! Well, every coach knocked out uh, Mike Conley. Right but wasn't right sure if this turned out to be an offensive body. foul or a blocking foul. And the, best and the basket here for Joel Joe Ingles is good. Yeah, they did not challenge that play already. Bad luck for the referee. Point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Utah Jazz is thinking that I thought this turned out to be an offensive foul, but this did not turn out well enough. I mean, Conley came in to 
run the offense. Another offensive foul here. Loose ball is on Clay Thompson. It's first. And one block look at here as Keybon Looney has just make it out. And what's up, Doug? Many times for this group. And that I don't think this wasn't the idea of what there is. To the mobile one block. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense, and that is one. Now Curry's back on the court. Right there. The Warriors making a switch here. Curry's checked in. Our Thompson only has one Utah. personal foul. Has to be Guys, careful not to make it a mess up again. They came out with a mission. Conley gets Curry to stop. Here's Conley. Mine's Conley up. The shot's good. Conley's got the lead. Conley is up on the lead. The Golden State only six. Lead changes of six. Ties. There's only two. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Curry past Curry the green. The green. Curry for two. And, and it's off the target at that point. Joe Ingles coming up by Thompson. This is it to Pass to Conley. 2.50 left remaining. McDonough on Van Swiggins. He doesn't, he hit, doesn't hit that two-pointer. Wiseman picking up another rebound. Ringo. Watching Royce O'Neal is Curry. Thompson outside. Curry to Thompson. Good. Nice cut in for Thompson. And this will be seven points for uh, for him on the board. They're down by two. Only 2.20 left. Conley against Curry. The screen was been carried, carried away, and that's foul again on the Warriors. Draymond Green takes his first personal foul, second team foul on the Warriors. First trip to the line for him here. First trip to the free throw line will be Mike Conley. Of course, he will not be forced out to be given up. That's the first free throw. Now Thompson is checked out. New one checked in is Andrew Wiggins. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Thompson. And Donovan Mitchell is checking in for Joe Ingles as well. Donovan Mitchell is checked in for Joe Ingles. Nope, Bazemore. Wiggins is still on here. And Conley drops the ball. Conley hits two free throws again. They're taking care of business. Free throw percentages are just quite safe. Okay, well, let's check in with Nothing happened. From the let's sideline. report the sideline game. Yeah. Boyan McDonavich was a pro in Europe for a decade before he joined the NBA. The Croatian sharpshooter says a lot of players who are happy over there, but I wanted to have another challenge to play against the best in the world. That was the only thing that was important to me. Guys, he's lived up to that promise. He loves that challenge, and he's having success. D.A., thank you. A lot of success out there. I'll have to see that one, Colin. Come in by, and now the pass is tipped away. Here's the fast break. Oh, it's Green with the block. Tremendous edge. Tremendous play on defense. No foul on him. He finally got it. Curry rolls it up. And he loves, drives it through, tie it up by 39. That's three in a row. Mitchell with the ball for Utah. Mitchell against uh, Baseball. Another screen here for uh, Gobert. What a good try, good fadeaway shot for Donovan Mitchell. He gets 13 points, only four out of eight field goals percentage. Just carried out. The ends. Missing again, and the number two pointer has caused two loose for Andrew Wiggins. Another free for another rebound here for Bates for uh, Wiseman. Wiseman has got five rebounds here. Double man defended, and it's tipped away. Donovan Mitchell got it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell, a steal. He says, "Look out below. Here comes Mitchell. He's like flying it really hard, just like the Sixers versus the Jazz here at Philadelphia." 
Wiggins drives it to two and actually makes it three. Four assists in the game. I don't know who that turned out to be. Nope, that's not him. Also a very gifted pass. Well, got slowed out early, but he had it. Here's Curry. And here is Curry. And will he take the tie? No, he will not make it in, in, in there at that point. That will be the end of the first half, 45 to 22. And offensively picking it out, Donovan Mitchell on a carry out. Let's stand by to the DEA. DEA, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Andrew, they shot the lights out in the first half. What has to change? Uh, get back. You know, folks are getting back, guarding your man. Uh, I gotta take these real. Starts with a man-on-man -man challenge. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Second half is coming up after this. We're ready to start off with the second half right down here as the Utah Jazz is gaining a three-point lead. Donovan Mitchell. Seemingly, he was out there just trying to take a full ball steal of scoring. But if you were uh, if you were thinking that the Knicks had just so already won, what's the final the score for the Knicks versus the Hawks? Second half of basketball upon us. Uh, basketball. He may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of the game it's been so far. So I don't, I don't know. That's not it. What's the, the final Warriors score for the Knicks versus the Hawks in game in three? The three spot. That's the Warriors spot. And it's Mitchell Mitchell. Yeah, I couldn't tell that anyway. What's happening with that? Being on Green, a modern day big, and of course we know the impact he has. I'll have to search in the NBA scores later then. If the timeout has appeared. So don't try to well mess up my courage. Seven Curry at a time. It's good. The basket for Curry is bringing up a number of games in a row. Utah is leading up to another change out there. McDonough taking an open lead out there. It's oh, Gobert lost the ball. Like a chance? Yes, it will come down good. And more. You can find a higher percentage here when you're looking for it at that point. What happened already? The Hawks did beat them. So they beat the Knicks already, 105 to 194. Not a good side for the, for the Knicks to keep it back on control. If the Hawks keep going, then that means they are heading their way to the second round if they win four games in a series all aboard. Oh, Wiseman with the dunk. And now Wiseman keeps going again. Two missed again for Rudy Gobert. Losing control. Wiseman gets the point in the lead. Some situational awareness. Updates for the field goals. 67 for the Warriors and Jazz 47. 5-13 left. Now Rudy Gobert has to try again. Pass to Mitchell for three. No good. That will be Green with the rebound. Wiseman over again. Here's Clay Thompson. Thompson shot, no problem. Timeout, Utah. This one's giving a lot of pressure out there. And we're definitely taking a look on the uh, another row divisions here um, for the hockey as we're looking guys for Discover Central here. As the as the uh, Carolina Hurricanes has beat the uh, has beat the uh, National Predators four to two. Then it was um, Tampa Bay Lightning to make the win in Game Six, beating the Panthers 4-2 in, in the game. Then it was the New York Islanders picking a, taking a devastation of their for another upsetting game, and they will play against the Bruins there on Saturday for the third straight season in a row. I'll sub out uh, Stephen Curry. And I'll go ahead and uh, sub in for uh, Kevin Gaysmore. Of course, Draymond Green, I will sub in for Bashful. And Wade Wiseman for, uh, for Wiggins. I don't know if you can try it for a center, but let's find out. And the Warriors.
Warriors with some changes. Let's see what happens already here. Go for Draymond Green. So Eagles is back in. For Wiseman. Rick Jokic and Clarkson subbing it in. For Derek Favors once more. And another new change here for the Golden State Warriors. Ubrey Jr., Pascal Wiggins, and Baysmore. Switches to point guard. Six on the shot clock. Outside Favors. Favors for three. Rudy Gobert, and he fits up a dunk. Now a little slam dunk here, Rudy Gobert. He's like the tall man, he can just go for a dunk. And he's just thinking that we're going to win, we have to do it. Rubre Jr. missing the three-point range. He only has only first three points, that was it. Shot by uh, baseball is no good. I mean, uh, Favors is no good. Wiggins. Oh, we got a deflector. It's Rudy Gobert. Pass it to Wiggins. Moves right across from Oubre Jr. Over Ingles. Ingles taking a second chance with the, with the defender. And he stays on the line. Ingles still looking out of it. Lines Conley. Conley against Baseball. Screen coming in for uh, Goubert, but it's given away. And it sinks the triple in for Conley. He puts up a lead by one. Whole team for Mike Conley, Rudy Goubert, and other players are gaining up more points because they're the number one seed. Not for long, we got another three-pointer here. It's Oubre Jr. That will be six points here, a second three-pointer for, uh, for the Warriors again. The drive in for Conley's good. The next time out will be on the Warriors. Not forcing it anything, but this is what we are talking about. And as the coaches go now, if you're looking for Dallas Mavericks and the Clippers, watch the game right now because this is what we are calling for. Not just too much to give it an off, another try here, but let's do another offensive look on the on the angle. Swing, I'll take a look. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what we can do anyway. To drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll. Especially new changes here for the Warriors and uh, Jazz. Favors and Gobert. Favors and Gobert subbed out as a something new changing. A nice 62%. Now, new change for the Warriors. Paul, Lee, and Fasciano, along with Levon and Oubre. Miss the three, and he doesn't get back in there for nine points. Eagles rolls it up and he takes up another two pointer as they lead up by two. Eagles has got himself the lead two points ahead, seven points on again. Let's catch up on all in favor of David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. For the Utah Jazz last season, there was a lot of fallout from the COVID crisis. But Rudy Gobert was able to patch up things with his teammates and specifically guard Donovan Mitchell. Gobert realized his mistake. For a team with so much maturity and potential to win, it's good to see them finally be able to turn the page. Guys? Good to see things, good to see things going on right now. Thank you, DA. After Toscano with the three-pointer and a steal put up by Lee or Poole, this was temporarily a close call right down there. Almost another deflection at that point. But Jazz is holding it off to take it back a step ahead. Mooney, pass it off to Lee. Lee passing it off to Looney again. Only a minute and 45 to go. Inside. Inside. Pascano. Pascano. And a foul called on Jazz. Rudy Gobert with the second personal foul. Pascano will go to the line to shoot two. He's clearly getting himself operating. He's still getting his chance to get back in the game. Now they stopped the clock at like 90 seconds left. He takes the first free throw. Bob Kanovich, he's checked in, Jazz. Checked in for the Mitchell Jazz. In for along, with, uh, along with another look here as Mitchell will sub in. One shot left for Toscano. Mm -hmm. 
We oh, will handle oh, two fleet throws in. That's a scout has nine points. 129 left. 129 to left appear under 90 seconds. Mitchell driving in the paint and he will just a little bit off the target again. In goes outside and come by Uber Jr. finding uh, favors. Favors lays it up. He's picking up for another assist at this game. Favors very reliable. He's very famous at that point. I don't think he wasn't going to be able to take it all. Pool has two Toscano. Toscano back to Pool. Covered by Mitchell. He's covered up by Mitchell. Looking for a steal if he was going to take it all. And so for the setback. Best not bad. From not the, the best one for uh, Uber Jr., but he has to try and so he can to give it another it. shot. It's and it looks like Uber Jr. got deflected up. Three on one opportunity, and this will be all one. Donovan Mitchell with the first personal. Second team foul on the Utah. 36 seconds stopped. And Coach Quinn Snyder just realizing, I can't believe this was only three on one. There was no player that was going to be out there to take another look out there. They got to get back in this game, size and especially once they suddenly turned out. I guarantee you, Jordan. Um, to adopt in his game. taking one shot. No dribble. Surprising. Who might just gonna triple the ball? That's not fair. Yeah. Trail by four. O'Neill gets O'Neill passes to Clarkson. O'Neill Carl Clarkson. Well double screen matchup. Passes it to Favors. Favors. Back to Clarkson. Clarkson. Covered on Descano. Seven to shoot. Just five on, on the clock. On five. And this will be a layoff for Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. This quarter. 12 well, points for this quarter, 15 seconds to go. Curry's got to find his way to keep it up again. But he's putting a mess up on Donovan Mitchell. I don't think he wasn't doing it anyway. Step back, just like that. Look at that. Stephen Curry picking up a two-pointer. And he got another good game out there. Warriors 66 to 62. They're looking for a chance to tie this series in the run when we come back. Warriors up by four. We'll be right with you after this. And now let's take a look at the State Farm Assist of the Game. And when some points are just not gathering it up a look. Take a look at this. We have a good momentum here as uh, Toscana was definitely passing it up on the boards as much. Looks like uh, we got another one to keep an eye on here. We'll give him another shot, Ryan, if we could do it again at that point. So thanks for joining us with another game right now. We're ready for the last quarter left. Curry, not making time. Then there's favors, and it's Clarkson. now Jordan Clarkson coming in, and it will be another pointer here for Jordan Clarkson, picking up by two. And so Pastor Thompson. Thompson. The Warriors. The lead is and it looks like Thompson lost the ball. Jordan Clarkson up, and Wiseman with the block. And that one. So favors has that ball with the shot. He made it. Shooting Thompson going again. 62 percent from the floor. To the paint. Eight. Just got to Wiseman, Wiseman for three. Along the line. And it's rebounded by Toscano. Wiseman, a second chance. Shoots up on the point. And it's up for another good three-pointer. Perimeter scoring. Perimeter on the scoring. Next time out is on Utah. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Utah calls time. So a lot of Utah Jazz calling the timeout. They got three left, along with, uh, with four timeouts left for the Warriors. We're still keeping an eye on it with another look on the run. Anyway, three to two zone. We'll, we'll see what happens. And the Warriors making a change. Warriors making changes here. Plus the Utah Jazz is making some changes here too. Jordan Clarkson. 
And on our sideline, our reporter, David Let's Aldridge. Let's do it again, David Aldridge. During the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed. Guys. Thank you, David. Whoa, we games with the dunk. This is by Stephen Curry. Just trying out lucky enough to be back out here with another point without going cold. Ten points for Wiggins. Conley to Mitchell for three. Got it. He just falls it in. Conley making another assist. You would think a coach might have He's quick up right now. Quicking it up. Mission the moves. Right now. He's just lighting him up. Wiggins past the green. And it looks like Wiggins needs some help. Oh, now he gets away. Back to Wiggins. Over Bogdanovich. It looks like he doesn't need a screen. He's got the point. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Just about five minutes to play in the, in the fourth quarter. O'Neal gets out the three-point range. And, and it's a good look here for Mike Conley to pick up a two-pointer. On the glass. Good work on the glass, and it's not just easy if you can get this thing in right. Double team on Curry. Wiseman passes to Thompson. Thompson outside. Thompson rolling around on Bogdanovich. Finds Green. Shots goes up. It's not good. Here we go. We only got down to take two to a tie. Mitchell's still got a tie up. 26 points. Six in the three range. Wiseman still out two blocks in this game. Curry outside. Missing the three. Donovan Mitchell making a rebound. Taking the lead. He's not in the change, so he's still tied up now. Wiggins going to be open. Not a lead chance for the score. And they, Steve Kerr has to tell him to stop shooting the threes. And we got a trouble here for the Golden State Warriors. Clay Thompson on second personal foul. The most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both. Next but change here, Derek Favors comes out. Rudy Gobert's ball. checked in. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for the Jazz. Right now, one shot left for Donovan Mitchell. He hits that time. Green still trying to tell Clay Thompson not to hit him too hard at that point. And it's taken away by Rudy Gobert. Mitchell against Wiggins. Mitchell against Wiggins. Taking another look around the wing. Rudy Gobert against Thompson. He goes up and it's good. Picking up the assist already is Donovan Mitchell. Timeout on the Warriors, 78 to 73. Oh, Looks like the with that Warriors are having trouble to keep the show alive. They're going to have to like make some changes here. Let's try subbing out Green. And let's go uh, to Pascal. I don't know what he's going to do. And Wiseman. I'm going to sub in for Kevon Looney. And Clay Thompson, I will sub it in for Kent Baseball. We're going to change that one up. Four needs to be in. Uh, nope. Uh, nope, sorry. You're going to be have to do some of uh, this kind of action. And now let's present the New Balance player of the game. And this one for the Jazz, it goes out to Donovan Mitchell. And his performance. Still, Donovan Mitchell is keeping it going already. He's not quitting, he's not losing himself. He's getting it up on its way to hit the number two pointer at that point. Sometimes with the assist, it comes up here again. A new change here for uh, for each two players. Two teams at least. Now it's Wiggins. He passes up to Prasco. Prasco misses the shot. Jazz leading by five. Jazz leading by five. 
Oh, we got a fight back. Wiggins got ankle bricked up on Conley. Wiggins against Conley. And just like that before, you definitely can't tell that the players on, on the Nets that Jared Allen got ankle breaking up. Just getting into the middle of that defense. This was not even just good. Now Warriors want to take a second to the last timeout before before the Jazz can take one for the Warriors. So uh, let me change another look. We got a You just keep going. Let's see what happens at this point. Here's Curry. Well, Curry with the ball. Pass to Baseball. Baseball up with the two. No three pointer. He missed the three point outside. So it looks like the number one seed is still pushing itself ahead. And McDavid with the shot. Missed again. Gobert signs attack. He a lot of slam dunk out there. You can definitely tell that Rudy Gobert is like keeping it going out there. Curry says it. He's going back to work. Yeah, so uh, just a shoot. 20 points for Curry. Donovan Mitchell with 29 points. They are in a, he's in the lead with nine points. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell. No, he could not take it on. Kevon Looney got fouled. I mean, Donovan Mitchell got fouled by Kevon Looney. It's first. Two shots coming for Donovan Mitchell. This is not good for the Warriors to pick up for a second game tonight. Utah Jazz keeping it simple. First free throw is First good. First free throw is good. One more left. And he takes the one right here. Warriors. We're still having time right down here. Seven Curry. Oh wow! Wow, Curry's like not even missing it out that again. 22 points. He's catching it up over Donovan Mitchell. Well, right behind Donovan Mitchell's score. 31 points is his, is his uh, point for Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell, can you take 33? Nope. And he's got Rudy Gobert up with a two point. Assist by Mitchell. Another game out there with the assist. And it's taken over by Gobert. Wow, a lot of new changing around that time. Looks like uh, Royce O'Neal got assists. Turnovers on six for the Warriors and only one for the Utah Jazz. Now he finds Pashko in the foul and one. Royce O'Neal takes his first personal foul and he's got his first bucket. It looks like Pashko has his, got his first bucket of the game. A much better opportunity to score. Right now, one shot remaining for Pashko. It's a free throw. Warriors are down by eight. One thirty-three. Turning down to ninety seconds on the play. Conley with it. Finds Gobert and a good D here on Pashko. And it's the Warriors. Warriors with the ball. Wiggins on the court. Takes short. And that's a good D here for. Uh, for Bobom and Donovich, 110 remaining, Mitchell against Bazemore. Mitchell scanning the floor. Scanning the floor, no good from the shot. And they're going up again. Curry throwing to the three. He catches close. And they will take the three pointer up on the board. 25. Better 50 seconds left. Donovan Mitchell, three. That's no good. Curry going back in again for the second time. Very important possession. No room for error. Looney. Baseball for three. And a three pointer cannot handle the shot. And he commits, the and he commits for the intentional foul on Nashville. First foul, third team foul. And a one more look on the block for Wiseman. Definitely right on Jordan Clarkson. Not, Don not on Donovan Mitchell. That was like a block. Close look at that what a team needs call when they're trailing. And we're definitely seeing it out before. We 
got a nine second difference between the shot. Now the intentional foul will be on Clay Thompson. His third personal foul, fourth team foul on Warriors. Now he will Donovan Mitchell will go to the line for two on one. Shoot two. Still though, they've got a lot of they got a lot of uh, franchising players who are rocking it. It's the first one. It's the first one. 31.7 to go. 89 to 83. And he gets the second one. Utah Jazz takes two wins. And the lead getting And it looks like the Curry team, uh, the Warriors are having trouble to keep the win on the podium. But we got a three pointer back. And they're down by four. The tool. Not another foul on Clay Thompson. It's for personal. 15 foul on the Warriors. A number two on one here coming in for Mitchell. If he gets by five, then you know what turns out to be trouble. That's one. If he takes two, they're still up ahead. And the second free throw miss. Curry up for the three. That's good. He goes out after it again. Another foul here for Clay Thompson. That's his fifth. 16 foul. One more left, and he's out. Fouled out. Maybe the Warriors could be answering the answering the question. And find out if they can get a, a one on one free throw to give it a to give it a shot for three points to tie it up. If they don't, then Mitchell wins the game. That's it. Looks like Mitchell has won the game. And now the timeout now for Warriors is on the last call. 17.7 seconds to go. We're going to be uh, searching it over again with another. Uh, our offensive look on the uh, floor. We gotta just try to pour out one active and get the shooters open while you can. Uh, push it, get the average, crash the offensive board. This gotta be good. We have to do it right. Curry, uh, I don't know about you, but you gotta be stepping on the court. But let's see what they say. Curry still out there. Curry going out, and he's only making the two, and he will be going right after it if he, there's another foul taking it up. Now Wiseman takes the first, second personal foul, 17 foul on the Warriors, 13.6 remaining. Mike Conley's turn to shoot two out one. It's the first. Three point lead, four point lead will, will not be in the target. Conley gets the second. They're still on fire again there. Right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line. Curry out there. Not in time. And the last foul is on Wiseman. Third personal. Conley shooting it again. Just like Mitchell did. That's it. The Jazz wins the game with a sick call. Warriors could not make a win against the first seed. At that point, it's all over. Jazz are going back home in game three, and they will be playing against the Warriors again. 97 to 91 is your final score of the game. And it just turned out to be a bad habit on that call. Would have been a close call, but Stephen Curry messed it up a bit because he was all right on that three point line. So, that completes game two. We'll see you guys on game three in each matchup. Let's go to the court side and David Aldridge on the sideline. David! Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. You picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I feel like we're focusing on the press side defensively and uh, we just have to come back and communicate.
Let's be focused, you know. And that's what we do. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Thanks for watching for the second game. We'll see you all in the third game, starting with the Mavericks versus the Clippers. Part of the game. So, with that being said, peace out, bitches. For us a while as the NBA playoff dial. See you next time. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm faithless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms of gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.